Okay, now let's take a closer look at the jackets that are perfect for pairing up with the Alpine Ultra half bag. Of course, if you're going to sleep in an Alpine Ultra or bivvying in it even, it's really worth considering the top half. How much insulation is that lightweight down jacket giving you? What is the insulation value of it? Particularly, what is the insulation value while you're asleep? If you're going to bivvy in it, it's very, very useful to know how warm it is. If you're going to sleep in it, replace a, a, a sleeping bag and just use the Alpine Ultra half bag and then the top half is insulated with a jacket. It's really useful to know how warm is it, is it for sleeping. Typical operating temperatures on our website are obviously aimed at uh, for clothing uh, are for daytime use for while you're actually using it for while you're while you're uh, doing light work or more in it so it might be just that you're camping uh, if you're camping it might be just that you're cooking or something like that um, but for light work the typical operating temperatures are are given in that way for clothing that is not the temperature rating for sleeping so it's really useful to get a bit more detail here on and drill down further into what is the right jacket to, to pair up with the half bag, the Alpine Ultra half bag. I've got two jackets here to show you. The first of course is the Alpine Ultra jacket. It's an ultra lightweight piece of equipment designed for those Alpine starts, those 330 starts, leaving a hut to cross a glacier. Uh, while they're cold and safe, uh, use, using a head torch, of course. But but critically, when when you're out on the on an alpine climb, once the sun's up, you won't want the down jacket on. You'll overheat. So it's going to be put into a small stuff sack and stashed in the rucksack out of the way. So an alpine jacket like this, the Alpine Ultra, is designed to be carried more than it's designed to be worn. It's de it's designed to be as compact and small and as light as possible, but to give you the warmth you require. Daytime typical operating temperature on this is, this is minus 10 and it's very well matched. It's very well to pair it with the Alpine Ultra half bag. But I'm just going to move on. This one actually, this sample I've got here has got a downfield hood and that's, that's optional on this jacket but it's a good idea to have a downfield hood if you're going to use a jacket for the top half and you're going to use a, a half bag for, to cover your legs and feet. Um, let's just have a look at a different jacket which is the one I really recommend perfectly matches the Alpine Ultra half bag and that's the Yukon jacket. It's, it's a lightweight piece again, it's a short length lightweight piece of equipment designed to be absolute maximum, give maximum weight to warmth performance, that's its focus. But the Yukon is a box wall constructed jacket, much much warmer than the Alpine Ultra. It's got a typical operating temperature of minus 15 degrees C, so that is a daytime temperature isn't it? That's while you're awake and active. Um, but this actually is the jacket that most closely matches the performance of the Alpine Ultra half bag, whether it's for camping or sleeping in for actual replacement of a sleeping bag, or whether it's for uh, bivvying, bivvying in. The, the, the temperature performance for the jacket while you're asleep absolutely matches the Alpine Ultra half bag. It comes with a hood as standard, it's a, a a stud off hood so you can remove it but the downfilled hood is very very good of course if you're sleeping in it it replaces the hood of a sleeping bag so to get the best performance out of the Alpine Ultra half bag the Yukon jacket is exceptional it gives it really is well matched and uh, does does everything the jacket does everything that the half bag would do okay there you go